Hey, my name's Josie and I bought a Mercedes Barrier bus named her Bo and I'm currently trying to convert her into my first ever home. So far I've taken out the seats, insulated, put down the floor and tinted my windows and now I'm going to drastically change the space and I'm going to start by putting up my ceiling. Yeah you are girl. So meet Harry. Harry! He's a friend from work that we bonded because he's a van lifer and I'm a van life wannabe and he has been such a handy Harry from lending me tools to explaining about electrics so really thanks Harry. Harry's Hello. destroying my ceiling. Hello. Okay so this is me and I'm an absolute beginner at all this van life stuff. My confidence to do anything is basically zero and it takes me about a month to pluck up the courage to do any ideas that I've thought of. But on this day, I told Harry that I was thinking about possibly tearing down the ceiling. I turn around for two seconds, Harry's pulled down half the ceiling. <laughs> well, let's go for it then. You're just so confident. I've done this before. He certainly has. We've pulled down the carpet of the ceiling. And this is a fake wall. This is a fake wall. So I'm going to have a bit more space here for my cupboards and a bit more space here for anyone that's tall that wants to come and visit the bus because it's tall enough for me but let's get these six foot four lads in all women i'm five foot five <laughs> don't look at me <laughs> So this stuff is fiberglass, really good insulation. It's commonly found in houses. It slows the spread of heat and cold by trapping pockets of air. There is a real potential that I might really regret my decision to take this out. However, I do enjoy the extra three inches head height. Taken out the whole of the ceiling and now it looks like candy floss land. By the way, don't do what I did. If you come into contact with this stuff, it's a good idea to wear gloves and long sleeves. Yeah. Fiberglass insulation is made of plastic reinforced by tiny glass fibers. It can cause rashes, irritation, coughing, and nosebleeds. I didn't know this at the time, but luckily me and Harry were fine. Okay, now me. <laughs> Pip Percy! Pip. He's another friend from work. He's actually a six foot four laddie. So let's see if he's more comfortable in my bus with the ceiling down. On the workhorse. Pip came to help me re-insulate my roof. The challenge was to find insulation that wouldn't take up too much room. Also, can we pay attention that he's six foot four and standing up perfectly in my bus? <laughs> So this is Blackjack self-adhesive flashing tape. A friend suggested it and after reading many forums about it, although insulation isn't its main design, it sounds like it might do a pretty good job. It's waterproof and sound deadening. And although it's not the cheapest, it's definitely a good option for insulation that doesn't take up much room. But I'll let you know if it actually works when I live in there for a bit. Unfortunately, on this day that Pip helped me, I actually forgot my toolkit, which meant we had no tools. It's not very sharp. <laughs> no scissors, no knives. Fuck. It made cutting things quite tricky. Hold it. Yeah, yeah, right. Shania Twain got us through though. Back in there, is that? Uh -huh. Oh, good lord, they're so shit there. What? No, it's not going well, is it? Stop. Stop. Right, so what are we going to bring next time? My toolbox. That's not too bad. It's not bad. We can do a bit each. <laughs> <laughs> Pip not satisfied with my work. <laughs> Fine! Wait, no. don't get angry. It feels like feels cozy. Yeah, it does. It feels cozy, yeah. I have no idea why on earth we would do that move, but I definitely want to see it again. Yeah, let's watch it again. <laughs> Oh, where's the hat gone, Pip? It's gone now. No, put it on. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of this, putting it on, taking it back off again, reapplying it. So apparently it was quite hard to apply. Start again. Start again. Or maybe we're just crap. Sticky stuff. <laughs> back to the hat. <laughs> okay. I'm going to leave him to it and I'm going to go and find a drink. Yeah, you have a break. Do I detect sarcasm, Pip? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So while me and Pip were doing my insulation, I also hired the company Shred and Butter to fit my skylight and two fans. Here is Del cutting a hole in my roof for my skylight. That's amazing. Cool! That's a big hole. It's a that big, is a big hole. hole. Hey. Hello. Hello. Here she is. I know, I know, I have a big beam going across my skylight hole, but don't worry. Shred and Butter were basically going to cut the beam here and here, and then to make sure that the roof wasn't compromised and wouldn't collapse, add a new beam from here and 
here so that all the beams were connected and it would all be strong. That is massive. <laughs> Come on, so give us a trick. Do a trick. Um, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can barely see you. Are you even there? It's weird. Like, there you go. There you go. Up here, I now have my Dometic Hecky 2 Deluxe Skylight. Over there, my fantastic fan. And then I also have a Max Air fan, but you can't see that, but it's in the bedroom area. The Dometic Hecky 2 Deluxe. <laughs> I bought this skylight at a price of £565.95p. Oh! Yep, welcome to van life accessory buying. <laughs> no, to be fair, there are definitely a lot cheaper skylights out there. The reason why I bought this particular one was because of its size. I struggled finding anything bigger than this skylight. This skylight is a whopping 790mm in depth and 1080mm in width. That's roughly the same size as a Bernese mountain dog. Oh! It's huge. The Dometic Hecky 2 Deluxe also does quite a few fancy things, such as it can open to a maximum angle of 55. It has a roller fly screen and a thermal honeycomb blind. It also has ambience lights in the frame. By the way, that was not a sponsored post. I was literally just letting you know why I picked that skylight. Anyway, back to my ceiling. Harry's back and we are now putting up insulation that's probably a bit more common within a van life build. And then it was time to pick the material for the actual ceiling. This is what I'm going for, some form of this kind of tongue grew very thin. For your next task, you will need drills. Drills. And uh... the... <laughs> drills. Do a twirl. First you will need to do a twirl. Bless Harry, he has to be very patient with me because I am one scatty girl. Where are all the drills? In your black bag. I need the drill rather than the screwdriver, right? Yes. Drill bits that went... Yeah, where did they go? <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> uh, These are notorious for breaking. Great. He's also a fantastic teacher. So... We've only got two. We've only got two. So be careful. Mm -hmm. And then I think that you just drill... Now this is where it'll start to break if you move this at all. No, how do I do this? Just cut off the top. Yep. I have chosen a tongue and groove wooden ceiling. Essentially our issue was there was nothing to screw the wood into. So what me and Harry are doing here is attaching wooden batten to these metal poles that run through my bus and that will give something for the tongue and groove to screw into. It's a bit of a palaver because you're drilling through metal. We were using glue as well but to be honest we ditched that idea pretty quickly. The screws were enough. Okay, now you're meeting Danny Ryan. I bet you're thinking, cool, she's got a lot of friends coming to help. I know. This video is actually making me feel very popular. So Danny's actually one of my oldest friends from school and she helped me paint my tongue and groove. A rather boring, tedious job, so I was really pleased to have the company. We basically just painted it cream. Painting. Hannah also came and helped me paint my ceiling on a different day. Unfortunately, this was the day I found out. We just tried to sort out this leak. Yeah, you heard me right leaking and i can tell you now it's nearly been a year and my skylight is still leaking by putting <laughs> type pulling down and a little pot to catch it little bowl little bowl cute yeah soon i was on my own battling the long cold days of the winter in 2020 bad job if I do say so myself. However, on my 30th birthday, I had the lovely surprise of two glorious friends coming to help me. Harry, who you've met before, and this lovely lady, Kelly! I actually don't have open balls. Yeah, you could do it, you're 30 now. <laughs>
yeah it, it doesn't really look finished does it? Yeah, that's that's because it's not. Um, this is actually quite classic van life. Basically, you can't really finish one job until you do another job, so what's going on here is I'm having to leave gaps for wiring and things like that, but uh, yeah, yeah, this is, this is as uh, finished as my ceiling is gonna look for a while. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Just gonna bust off out of here for two or three years With Winnie on the gears Watch O.C. Steers Let's drive out of here Drive out.